you can be a millionaire, but in a Honda Civic. You just don't like to be um, flashy. Yeah. I don't like. I don't like flashy anymore. I don't. I'm over that. You know what? Because they they're loud. Mm. The flashy guys they like to be loud and they like to show out for other dudes. Yeah. yeah. So you say flashy like jewelry, clothes, or yeah, or just like being loud, mm-hmm. making sure that everybody know that you have the money. But I feel like a real boss, he's silent. Mm. And he let his woman speak for herself. So. Making sure everybody know you looking good and you got it going on. But the moment we try to play the status game with you women, we are flashy and we're cocky and we're doing too much. But, you know, it's not even about being flashy. And I agree with her with the saying, right? She says that um, you doesn't, you don't necessarily um, have to, you know, drive a certain expensive car to be a millionaire. You could drive a Honda Civic and be a millionaire. But, yeah, you can have the Honda, Honda Civic and you can have the Rolls Royce. You can have a Honda Civic and you can have a, uh, the Range Rover. You can have a Honda Civic and you can have a um, a um, Hellcat or a BMW. Right? It's all about how you prioritize your life. And what guys have to understand is women are always going to be hypergamous. And, and, and women are always going to like nice, flashy things. I will never forget um, this girl I was dating. She was like, yes, yeah, Steph, we like fast cars. We like guys that have money. We like guys who are successful. It's just what it is. Right? And there's literally no way around that. There's nothing that you can do as a man to, to stop that biological thing in a woman's brain for her to want a man's access to his resources and for her to like a man and want to be with a man because of the things that he obtained and the things that he have. Right now, it's up to you to decide what type of woman you want to deal with when you're on this way towards success, right? And I'm gonna be honest with you, fellas. <clears throat> They're at the finish line, right? We said we said that. So you don't you don't take these women that seriously anyway, who just like you for the things that you have. But let's just be real honest. And I remember, uh, I think. Young Thug or 21 Savage. I think 21 Savage said one of the one of the, he said, I know she wanna F me because of my money. It's cool though. I'm gonna play my role though. You know what I'm saying? See, women are always gonna like flashy things. I mean you can you can test the experiment yourself, brother. How about you go buy you a gold chain? You only have to go buy you a diamond chain. Just go buy you a gold chain. Go buy you a solid gold chain. Go to GOD.com and use code code at checkout and buy you a gold chain. Buy you a gold, you know what I'm saying, bracelet. Buy you some nice gold earrings. And just watch how you get treated. Just watch how you get treated. Watch how they treat you. Watch how they treat you different. Buy you a pair of nice shades. Watch how they start looking at you a little different. You working hard, you getting to that money. You pull up in that Honda. Nine, ten months later, you pull up in that goddamn Range Rover. Nine, ten months later, you pull up in that Range Rover. What you think she gonna say? Yeah. Oh my God. It's yours. It's your car. Oh my God. You post you doing nice things. It doesn't have to be rich things. Just nice things. You think they don't like that? You think she don't want to be a part of that? Right. I don't like flashy guys. I don't like guys that's too loud. I don't like that anymore. Yes, you do. You're always going to like that, baby. You're always going to like the guy with that cold diamond watch that's glistening in your face. And that diamond ring that's glistening in your face. And the change is just hitting, hitting you in every direction. You're always going to like him. You're always going to be attracted to him. No matter what type of advice that you tell us. Right? I'm not saying all women are like this, but most women like a guy that's flashy. Just because a dude don't wear jewelry doesn't mean he's not flashy. Some dudes like to flash off their lifestyle in their car. But you women are flashy. Right? Y'all flashy. 
but we can't be flashy. That's how we got to get y'all. We got to be flashy to get y'all. We, you know what I'm saying? We got to stunt to get y'all. We can't be humble to get y'all because y'all not humble. Why we got to be humble? You want us to tone it down to be humble. Drive the Honda while you're a millionaire. Don't show your status. Don't show how cold you really are. Why? You think I work this hard to not show the coldness? You think I work this hard to just put it up and not show people the hard work and the rewards of my hard work? Why put it up? Why put it up for you when you ain't putting up none of the things for me? Got them big old jugs out like that, girl. You already know what you're doing. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull out my diamond chain because I know you're going to look right at it. You probably going to think I got money. And guess what you're going to do after that? You're going you, you gonna to try to F with me after that. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to dig you out too. You. <laughs> But you want me to not be flashy. See, they want you to play the game to lose. Don't don't buy that Rolex watch. Don't 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 buy the Rolex. That's what she telling. Don't buy that Rolex watch that you worked hard for and then posted and then you know I worked hard for this. I grind it off for this. Don't don't show off your car. I'm gonna keep showing off my big booty and my breasts and my pretty face. I'm gonna show that off every day. But you don't show off the things that I find valuable. But I can show off things to, that you find valuable every single day. And I throw it in your face. I throw it in your face and I won't care. You bet not grab that Lamborghini or that G-Wagon. You bet not post that chick with that big butt. Is that your wife? I don't wanna I don't want you to dig me out now. They always say things to make you less than, to make you less valuable, to make you less wanted. To hide you. You know? But they will lie right in your face. Oh, I'm 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 not the type of girl that be go, I don't go out. And then you, you let a woman talk, you listening to them talk, like, okay. Yeah, I'll be going out with my friend. Oh, you be going out, huh? Hmm. You said you don't go out, though, but you don't say that. You just say, oh, you going out, huh? Oh, okay. Ain't nothing wrong with a woman going out, but I'm just saying. See, don't listen to a woman when they tell you about this dating advice. And, you know, I had a chick man who told me, you know, she she uh she got a consultation from me. You guys want to speak to me one-on-one, stephascode.com. Link is in the description and pinned in the comment section. And she was like, I was talking to this guy, and he stood next to this G-Wagon, and it wasn't even his. That's what got your ass, though. That's what got you. What got you was that G-Wagon. That's all it took for you to go. It wasn't just him enough. It was him standing next to that G-Wagon. And that took for you to go for him. Just like I like them big breasts and that big butt and that pretty face, I like that first before I want to get to know anything else. So I already know before you would even want to get to know me, I know you want to see what I got. And I know you want to be at least somewhat attracted to me. But you're not going to say that. But you want me to strip away the things that you find valuable and attractive in men so I don't catch other hoes and you can catch all the bros. See what I'm saying? It's all about leverage in this situation, fellas. <clears throat> Why you want leverage over me? Because you want to control me? That's why you get to the bag so no woman can control you. That's why you go hard so no one and woman can control you and tell you what to do. Hey, Dexter, stay your ass at home. Hey, Dexter, don't drive that car. Why? Hey, why are you wearing that chain out? Where are you going? Like you telling her, damn, girl, where are you going with all that ass? You got them tig old bitties out. What you wearing all that makeup for? I'm doing it for myself. I'm trying to be pretty for myself. Man, don't listen to that goofy, goofy ass shit. Why you think she telling you not to be flashy? Because she, and then she tried to throw that cap in there. They do it for their homeboys. Listen here, baby. We do it for you. Chicks just like you that fall for the trap. And I ain't saying we as in me. I'm just speaking in general, general term. The same way, you know. Oh yeah, he gon' he gonna sell you that dream. Mm-hmm. And, and and you're gonna like him because of that. You gonna you know, like my man modest and humble and put up. Stop lying, bruh. You don't want no humble, modest, put up guy. You want the guy that every chick wants. And guess what? You think he's humble? You think he's humble? You know he's not humble, that's why you're attracted to him. He might not be as flashy as you turn him, but I'm pretty sure he shows off some of his lifestyle and the things that he obtained for you to like him. 
for you to have your foot in the door with him. So, man, all that, all that, all that crap, bro, that she talking about, man, is just a bunch of nonsense, bro. A bunch of nonsense, bro. You can't listen to what a woman say when it comes to these, like, dating and what women like, bro. You walk in tomorrow and you have a car tomorrow, it's going to be night and day difference, bro. You know what I'm saying? A low interest woman, a high interest woman is night and day difference, bro. You feel what I'm saying? From a Honda to a Lexus, and then from a Lexus to a Lamborghini, it's night and day difference, bro. But you got to understand that. A lot of y'all don't understand that. Like, there's nothing wrong, bro, with showing off the things that you fucking worked hard for. There's nothing wrong with that. Stop letting women shame you to make it seem like that's wrong, bro. On threads and Instagram and TikTok, they showing off everything. Why can't you, G?